Good evening everyone, welcome once again to Athena Games. It's our regular flight night here on the 5th of July 2017. And uh, my name's Elliot Bacon, I'm joined in the booth here by, of course, David Lincoln, my wingman as always. Uh, but we have a special guest in for commentary, Mr. Wojtek. Good evening, uh, this is Wojtek speaking, I'm happy to be here. I wanted <laughs> to make a com co-commentating for a game for quite some time and I'm really happy it's finally possible. Well, we're glad to have you here. You're probably one of the probably the most successful players we have here. <laughs> <laughs> I I had my moments this season in yeah. the large tournaments. Yeah, you uh, uh you placed in the top in the Avon Open. At the top moment. eight. It was top eight at the Avon Open. Then it was top four in the Dave Entry when I was undefeated until I met the guy who won the entire tournament. That's not a bad my, way to go. It was my only way to only game to lose in this tournament. So I was very happy with this one. And then on the European Championships, I was 25th with 7-2, which would be enough for top 16 top cut, but my MOV was not good enough. But I'm still super proud of it and very happy. You did a lot better than I did when I went there. <laughs> well, that's something at least. But um, <laughs> we got quite quite game tonight. You were the one that kind of headhunted this kind of game at first, weren't you? The one who so proposed this. This is uh, th this is the second time I have. Are you asking about the particular lists with Darren? Or? Yeah, with Darren's list. Yeah. So this is this is the list that Darren was playing with in the first uh, Wednesday special Voitex Invitational. I've lost that game. <laughs> uh, with a small margin, but Darren won this one, and I wanted to play this again, uh, and we had a chance to do it today. This time I was victorious. Uh, so I kind of kind of know how it works. It's good it's, somebody does, because there's apparently a lot going on in this list. This list is based on weird triggers and ships synergizing with each other. Well, let's take a look at the list. So, here we go. So as you can see here, we have... Uh, uh, a Decimator and a Major Strydan. So it's uh, an Epsilon and Decimator. Two ship lists. Not often you see that these days. It's usually no. uh, three, and it's kind of got three or four as the golden kind of numbers there. And it's also nice as well that you get the old, the old trilogy meets the new trilogy as as, as well. Yeah, you know, with the decimator mm. and the the new the new shuttle. Mm. Well, the decimator never appeared in in that. But let's not get into the details mm. of legends and such. <laughs> um, yeah, so Oiken, bumping. He likes to bump his enemies. He gets to deal extra damage to them when he bumps them. Uh, he's got Daredevil to assist with that for an action he can attempt to... Uh, he can actually do another one manoeuver, so essentially he can bump someone twice if he wants to. Yes, because it's not a boost or a barrel roll, it's a manoeuver. So the same mm. way as you can bump someone with Advanced Slum, you can also use the Daredevil to boost mm. into people and deal another point of damage. Yeah, and someone might say, well, how can you do that? If you bump, you lose your actions. Well, that's what Dauntless exists for. The Dauntless title allows you to take a stress to do an action action and to get him into position he's got an engine upgrade which gives him a great bit of maneuverability along with the daredevil uh, and for just extra lols we have Boshek on board <laughs> to uh, force different maneuvers on your opponent and Mara Jade because if you're bumping into them well you're yeah, range one of them so you're stressing them as well mm. there's a lot going on here and Boshek is the only unique crew member that is not faction specific no and that's good because he's a great card he's fantastic to throw on anything you, you, you use him quite a lot I have used him quite. I do, I like Boshek. I think he adds a very much a mind game element to that. Do you know what game. is the origin of this card? Of, of course, then if you're a big uh, fan of Boshek. that was uh, oh, uh, oh, what you mean the character or no the card the card itself? How was it created? I think it was Paul Heaver's. Paul card. Heaver's yes, that was his third. Worlds? That was his third world's mm, victorious mm. card mm. that he designed. Well, another player is <laughs> starting to set up right now. So let's just quickly go over to the board to have a look, see what's going on. Ding ding. Uh, so it seems that Michael has the initiative here. It's Michael Mags versus Darren Bridesmaid Chapman. So let's change this. Uh, so, boom, there we go. Michael's got the initiative. And there goes Darren's obstacle there. I believe actually that's uh, Michael's. That's so, Michael's. Michael's so place. The, it seems to be that they, the are, that ones. they are choosing each other's obstacles to kind of deny them a bit of optimal placement, maybe? Mm. I, you know, it's one of those weird things as well. I think Michael's done it right here because I would I would love to have control of those debris debris clouds and put them into a position where I mm. want to put them. Mm. Now there was talk of uh, Michael bringing his famed double ghost list tonight. However, that, that would really please me with my lovely ghost. However, that's not what he's chosen to run tonight. He's running a triple arc list. So, it's okay. it's nice to see it because it's not very often you see. Well, shall, shall we go for Major Strydan as well? Let's go through Major Strydan. So, just a quick recap: Major Strydan uh, for uh, the pur the purpose of gay of uh, 
actions and upgrade cards, you may treat friendly ships at being at range 1 to 2 as at being at range 1. So he's got electronic baffle. He can take in uh, a damage to get rid of a stress token. Yep. Systems operator, officer, so it gives him an ability to take an action if he performs... No, give an action to someone at range... One to, three, one to three, with, 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 yeah. with a um, one with a green maneuver. Uh, it's got fleet officer for an action. Two up to two friendly ships at range one to two, which becomes one to three. Worth remembering, fleet officer can trigger on yourself as well. Systems yep. officer cannot. Yeah, so system officer is not on yourself, but fleet officer is. So he can... also oh, can trigger himself and yes. Captain Oiken if he's yes. at range three. So you yep. can give them both focus tokens, which oh, is that's nice. better than just doing a focus action. It gives you and your friend a focus token. Uh, Pat analyzer, so he can do a red maneuver and b- b- get his manu- uh, actions before he takes the stress. Yep. And experimental interface to make sure that he can perform fleet officer yes. if he has the, pop- uh, the possibility to do so. Probably with electronic baffle, that's going to be and helpful. Worth noting, the coordinate ability can also be used within range 3 in mm-hmm. this case. That is true. So the coordinate ability can be used at range 1 to 3 instead of 1 to 2, which is the normal restriction. Uh, mm-hmm. Thank you, Resident for following us. Okay, so that is Darren's list. That looks, um, that looks really meaty and punchy. Now, now, when you say triple arcs, I do sort of fear for him a little bit. Well, I'm I'm concerned about that as well, but let's have a look and see what we have going up here. So, um, just to quickly uh, go over the list camera right now. Boom, boom, boom. We have Nora Wexley, Shara Bay, and Thane Carell. Kyra? I go Kyra. So, we have Nora with BB-8, Push Limit, 9 Numb, and Alliance Overhaul. So, uh, all straights are green. She can perform two actions and get with a stress token, <coughs> and she can form a barrel roll on the reveal of a green, plus her normal ability to uh, spend a target lock to gain a focus result in her either her defense or her attack. And yeah. she must do it in this order if she wants to use BB-8 at yes. the start of next turn. She has to. Uh, Shara Bay, uh, when another friendly ship at range 1 to 2 is attacking, it may treat uh, your blue target locks as its own, which makes sense because R5K6, he can, she can attempt to get it back with an evade dice roll. That ability, so she's the same pilot skill as Nora. Bodhi, she can target lock anyone within range one to two of, or one to three of another ship. So it gives space you can um, stay, behind, yeah. stay behind and uh, jump the target lock a bit. Alliance overhaul, we've seen that before. Add an extra out front or a crit out the rear for, or crit conversion on focus. And vector thrusters for a barrel roll, which is also on Thane. And Thane is your standard stress Thane build. R3A2, declaring a target, you can gain. You can take a stress to give your opponent a stress. Tactician, when attacking at range 2, you may give a stress token to that opponent. Part of me is like, I still prefer having like the stress capabilities on Braylon because he can remove them a lot quicker. Mm. Um, but that's just my personal personal opinion. Although Tane Carroll is only stressing himself once, what a lot of people are doing are putting R3A2 and, and Gunner, gunner yeah. mm. on, mm. on Braylon's Strum and they do the first shot without declaring the use of Alliance Overhaul yes. to only roll two dice, but in his case, he, he will put two stress on the opponent if he's in the range correct two. range, but he'll only stress himself once, so it will be easy for two him to, one ratio to, just, to just clean it next turn. Well, I'm not yeah. sure this is the right move, but Michael has set up for a joust here against Darren's list, and I'm not sure that's the best option. Then again, the ups, maybe the best option, because once the Upsilon passes you, it's going to have trouble getting around, so yeah. maybe it's I can best. shoot out its rear arc, even if uh, Mara Jade comes into play on Oiken to stress yes. one of them out again. Yeah, so maybe that's not a, a bad call, but probably not the best either. Not the optimal, is what I would say. And also, to be honest, if you look, if you look at the arcs, they have a better firepower, I would think. The action efficiency is probably similar for both lists. But I, um, but then you got the start point is this is two against three, um, and between and between the whole of Darren's list, he's only got one evade dice that you can roll if if they're not getting any bonuses rather than three. That's just true. Um, so it's going to be a question of how those green dice sort of fall really. Um, how do you know which one is which? Uh, well, well, Thane well, is obvious. Thane is you first. Not. Shara's, I think, uh, he want to keep Shara out back so that because of course Bodhi Rook. Yes. So I think it makes sense that she be the rear one. And uh, Nora, you want to get into range one so you can get maximum attack, so yep. she be the forward one. It's it's logical. I could be wrong, but this is what I think is the logical outline of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you for that comment, Re- uh, Rezo. Um, we're glad to present you to you regular X Wing strings. I mean, we do do one every two weeks on Wednesday, the first and the third Wednesday of the month, and soon. Uh, for the next event, at least, we've got the Challenge Tankard. The yeah. lovely Tankard of Victory coming up, which we'll have a mini tournament uh, for that. Which I would love to play in, but I'm going to 
join you here because that sounds like it's too fun an opportunity. <laughs> yes. um, but of course, before and that, also, we've got our store championship You beat up. me to it. See, that's <laughs> how in sync we think we can be. Uh, yeah, on the 15th of July, we've got our store championships. Elliot, myself and Hedge will be here all day, hopefully, for that one. And I imagine you'll be playing in that one, Wojtek? I will be playing. I will be trying to get this fancy uh, agent colors token. We'll see how it goes, but it will also be a nice yeah. another chance for me to try my list that I want to take to the uh, European Team Championships. Yes, because be... you're flying with uh, with Team Poland on that one. I am indeed, and I'm sure it's going to be awesome. <laughs> so yeah. Well, uh, it's very. The, the issue news. is that we, this this part of the point of where uh, Michael's moved is is listed. They're both pilot school seven. We do not know which one is which. No, uh, although I I think I know exactly. There's BB eight, so yeah. There's BB eight. There's BB eight, so that must be Nora. Is he going to use her? Yes. Ah, so, oh, so, so he did have way Nora at the back. He did have it at the back. Way. Well, my log my logic sit clearly. He knows what he's doing. I don't. Yes, well, don't worry, because you can tune in and watch uh, the Tankard watch it unfold. tournament. Yes. Mm. Um, <laughs> uh, we don't really come up with a rule. I think the rule is you can be challenged at any time, and you must defend it. And if you ever at all leave the Norwich or Norfolk area, you must rescind the Tankard. Think of it like a, like a WWE challenge belt. So from this position, the Decimator could start with coordinated boost. Yeah. Move one straight, then do three bank to right, or even four straight, and then potentially... Not only Daredevil into someone to put some damage, but also to trigger Boshek. That's the thing, is um, that is may look far away from those targets, but with a boost behind it, which can mm. be coordinated from Striden, who can move first, that does make him very quickly get up and hit, get in those, uh, the grills of those, uh, uh, those arcs. Mm. And that could be devastating. Hopefully, Michael would have predicted this. Um, now, he does have initiative, and Thane does move first, so he has probably that bit of saving grace. Yeah. He could use Thane almost uh, like to absorb and to trap the Decimator. If he calls the maneuver correct, even if he calls the maneuver correctly, it's not going to be that easy. No. Because remember that Darren can essentially make these boosts and their devils and maneuvers in yes. whichever order he likes. He can, he can wait for Tane Carroll and then either activate Oiken or activate Strider first to do boost before. Precisely. He can... He can wait and see what the optimal maneuver is before he does it. And that's the strength of Darren's list as the bridesmaid. And the reason he calls her the bridesmaid is uh, because he's always the bridesmaid, never the bride. He's always second place at tournaments. Consistently he's made second place at our tournaments here. He's never won one. That's why the nickname the bridesmaid has gone down with him. And that's his, now his official call sign, I believe. Oh, uh, there we go. Very reasonable. Vector thrust is to barrel roll. I would say if he's going left, that's in his best he's interest. Right. He's going right to block um, Icon's possibility to bump into the two other guys. Mm. Or oh, ladies. and also, and also, if um, if other arcs are following in behind, because the, the way Thane's ability could work, Triggers the, the shot can't hit Thane, they have to hit something else, and then they're on the, hitting something else, they can get, he can get the free tokens out, or yes. free actions out of there. Yeah, because Thane's ability, after an enemy ship uh, after an enemy ship inside your firing arc at range 1 to 3 attacks another friendly ship, you may perform a free action. Which triggers in the rear arc perfectly. Mm -hmm. so, so don't think about overshooting <laughs> Darren, because he's still going to so get it. So executed the green maneuver, <clears throat> so it's fleet officer, I believe, is the one that gives target yep. locks. Yep, so fleet officer is giving a target lock. Yes. Systems of... Which one is which again? Uh, systems, systems, of, systems officer yes. first for green maneuver. That was one straight. So target lock. So he's not going to be bumping into Fane. No. He wants to shoot yeah. It. And there's engine upgrade coming to play. So that is coordinate action from um, from Strident into Interesting. Into Icon. I wonder if this is uh, planning ahead for a round. He's going to bump Thane now, yes. have the target lock for when he disengages next he, or round. Or is he locked in that three bank and is he trying to overshoot Thane? Mm. Ooh, maybe. Could, yeah, he could. So now there should be experimental interface going into yep, play. Yep, there it is. With Fleet Officer that will give focuses to both of them. It is indeed Fleet Officer. So focus will be given to both the ships in question. That will mean one of them will get two stresses as well. I think it's going to be Strident. Yeah, Striden will get a stress from an experimental face and, of course, a stress token as well. From the fleet officer. Yep. You need to watch this because that is something that you need. You, 
you may forget, like, yep. Raid Experiments the Face is actually for three. Uh, Fleet only... Officer, yes. There is yeah. one stress token. Yes. Yeah, it looks like there's only one stress token being put down there. Or at least physically. Oh, you called it... Ah. Uh, I think it might be... Oh my goodness, is he actually going to jump over it? Be enough. I, think it I think it is. Yes. It is marginal, it's It's is. very close. Very, very close. Yeah, considering that Michael is holding his ship, it is probably if he's, enough. If he's to holding jump. it, if he's holding it, this must go. Which also means he's going to be a dangerous spot with the Decimator, because he will be shot by probably two ships at range one. Oh! And if he's just leapfrogged... Um, one, you know, at least one of them is bumping straight into... He could daredevil now. He will daredevil, because he's got his focus and target lock already, so that there is, is no harm. We know. Although, look at that. Boosting right with daredevil would mean he will bypass them. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't think he would actually... It's not a good choice to do that. Yeah, he now. really wants to stay where he is, because yep. he blocks the arcs. Yep. Um, he doesn't get any dexter damage on, but he's in the yep. optimal position. Although, if you think about depending on what's Nora Wexley ability, she can trigger BB-8 first, barrel roll left, and not bump. That is very true, so she but does have least, that capability. At least Shara will not, she will not, Shara will not shoot, and probably she wouldn't even be able to pass target locks, because she will not have the target lock. Mm, that is very true. Well, we'll see what Darren... Still, he's still thinking. He is thinking about it, because he... I think he is because wondering. From other perspective, if he would, he's taking his stress. He's doing this. He is doing. He's this. doing. Do Maybe he wants oh. to arc dodge it. He is doing Daredevil. He is doing Daredevil. So he will definitely fit in there. Yes, he will definitely fit around the corner because, of course, you pivot, you, you pivot on the corner pretty yes. much. So he doesn't collide. Mm -hmm. He leaps beyond, which actually means that might be better for him because it might mean he may avoid couple some of the arcs. However, it's he's not going to be easy. Because not going to be easy. Their rear arcs also are a factor. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was the right call, but um, I don't think it's what Michael would have expected. Well, on the other <laughs> hand, he might as well go for his shots onto. Um, well, it's going to be range one anyway, so yes. I mean, going for shots on uh, on Thane to stop him passing the actions out. He, that is also true. And he might be the only ship that is reasonably being shot at range two, maybe by Striden. Mm. But anyway, if there are three arcs shooting at range one, then we have three enemy ships that are getting additional red dice. Ooh, here we go. It's a, a bump. bump. So no actions for Shara. So Shara, of course, bumps and gets no actions. Mm -hmm. I imagine that Nora would have done the exact same, so she will also bump. If that is one or two straight, then you are correct. Because if she, if it is a, a green, she can't barrel roll. Actually, no, she could she barrel roll. She can barrel roll left to force a bump. I can't see what Not necessarily. Is. Because Why would you do that? If she barrels left, because then you can't be attacked. If she barrels left and pushes right up against the base, hello. David, you are being cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's going for just the straight, which actually is not a bump. Mm -hmm. uh, very good on the part of Michael. So look, he will now have three shots. Three shots at range one in the rear arc. Yes, all with three dice and all of them with a critical modification. Into, yes. I will into critical hit. So that's actually... It's not ideal because it's nine dice comparing to four that will be going the other way mm. at range one plus Trident, obviously. Of course. But... Uh, well, the know. action efficiency is much better because you have focus on Trident and all the actions on... and all the actions on, on the Decimator. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it's going to be... Interesting to see where this goes, whether Desmaya and Striden can deal uh, yeah. a significant amount of damage to one or more of the arcs. Mm -hmm. Back, David. Yep. Sorry. That's right. Thought I could sneak in there. Overestimate myself. So, who have we got in the chat here today? Yes, it's loading. I know that we have, of course, uh, uh, Resurrect. Uh, we have Lithy 2017, Statman 2014, uh, 2004, and X Wing. Uh, Actually, Malaga. Malaga. Hmm. So three dice probably from Shara or Nora. That looks like a hit, a Depends focus, and a blank. Will, if you if you won't be rerolling this. So it's a It's a focus. There's it's a, a line line for hole. The so lines have all. That's a crit. crit. Yep. So that's two. Spending the target lock, it seems. So that is Nora Wexley because she did not bump. Yes. And adding a focus, so therefore this will then become a hit because he's going to spend the focus. Going to focus and turn that to hit. That's uh, two isn't a crit. That's, that's, that's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. 
three shields of Captain Ike. First engagement, not bad at all. I think it's one of those things like the decimator with having zero agility. It's like like for me, it's like ghost effect. Yeah, you know, if it's going to get hit, it's going to get hit, hit hard and go down very, very, very quickly. Yes, <laughs> that's the thing that that's the offset of them having so much Holland shields. They will take whatever they are given. Speaking of taking what you're given, here comes number two, which is Shara Bay attacking next. Range one. Oh, mm, not a very solid. Uh, that looks like an eyeball. It looks like two mm. eyeballs to me, so at least there's one crit in there. Oh. Why is he removing them? I guess he decided not to. Uh, do but the why wouldn't effects. you? Not to change one of the. Maybe he forgot about the Alliance Overhaul ability. He might have. I mean, I'm pretty sure he has it equipped. Uh, yes, he has been equipped on all three, so I'm not sure why, why be, that happened. I was going to say, because he probably just. Just forgot. Um, which card is that? Tactician? No. Uh, R382. R3A2. That was R3A2. R3A2, so he is indeed stressing himself himself to stress yep. uh, the Desire, which is actually not a bad call. Stressing the Desire means it can't perform his action. It does have Inspiring Recruit, though. As well. mm. it does have Inspiring Recruit, though, so it can double remove stress. Yes, that is true. Yes, yes. but only from one of them, and uh, Strident is already double stressed, so... Unless he used Electronic Baffle... You cannot use bare Electronic Baffle now. Yep, because yes, Electronic yes, Baffle must be triggered on the very moment when you're getting the point of stress. Yep. I was meaning in terms of when he actually did it, but we didn't see him activate the card, is what I'm no, saying. No, 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 he didn't do it. All and right. you can see the stresses on the on the table. And here right. comes Strider. That looks like it might be range... It looks like a range... Two? two Ooh, three. close. Maybe just... I think it's we just will see two. from the amount of green dice that uh, Fane, I guess, will be rolling. Yeah, and don't discount that four dice from Striden. It's a very powerful little... With a focus as well. With, with a focus as well. You've got, you got quality. No target lock, but sometimes a focus is all you need for that many dice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at an average possibly of two results with a focus token, maybe even three. 225. Uh, no, with, with four dice. Three, exactly three. Oh, three, there we go. I yeah, you know, I always find it the way is you put a focus down, you get blanks. You put a target yeah. lock down, you find focus. I find that quite <laughs> a lot myself, actually. Um, statistically speaking, the amount of hits you're going to get is the same. Although with a target lock, you get higher chances of getting additional criticals. Mm -hmm. Which doesn't matter at this stage because of they, all, they all still have shields. Uh, Oiken doesn't. Oiken had, did have a shield removed because he, a hit did go through. So it is now down to its hull. Uh, I'm thinking what Michael really needs here is a major expl is a uh, major explosion to go. Major explosion is a direct or, or hit. major hull breach, I should say. Yeah, ma oh yeah, major hull breach. And they all go face up, and it makes him spend an action to turn one of those down. That would be the worst thing to happen, Darren. But we'll see if it does occur or not. I think all of the arcs were beyond range two, so he's trying to. All right. Uh, two blanks. Two blanks. Two hits. It's been target lock. So yeah, it's, it's the decimator. Yep. Four hits. Only two. Only two hits. Only two. He didn't have target lock on Striden, I think. There's black. That's one die, which means it was range two. And that was on Thane, so Thane has yep. lost a a shield. He not lost two shields. He lost two shields. You're correct. He lost two. So here comes the target lock. This here. could be very painful. Here we go. He's three. It's. I think that's four because. Yeah, that's, four, that's four, yeah. four to me, yeah. As what, is, no, I think there's still a folk. Oh, that's painful. There's a crit in there as well, so there's, here's the last shield of Thane. One, two, th three more health, yes. Well, it depends if there's a direct hit, that's another one. We'll that would be a very unfortunate. Uh, that does look like direct hit to me. No. Uh, are... Should be a bit close to this. Stunned pilot, I think that's what it is, if I look at it correctly. Pilot. Is it stunned pilot? Which, which one is it? A uh, stun pilot it's is when you go into ships or up, uh, asteroids. It shaken? Could be shaken pilot. Inch oh, lose you. No, that's, that's, that's the old deck. Damage. That's the old deck as well. Uh, da, da, da. Stun pilot after you execute a maneuver if you're overlapping, get a point of damage. Could be shaken pilot. You can't you can't sign a straight maneuver. Hold on to the camera for Christ's sake. <laughs> Because when I, when, I, when I was showing it a couple of weeks ago, what I did was I actually, when I, was, when I had the cards up there, I was sort of explaining okay. what it did, so I think that was the moment with time triggers. Okay, so not ideal for Michael. Uh, he gave four hits to the Decimare and got was, six in return. Exactly. So, so out of 27 health points, you have 23 left. 
mm. for Michael. There's a possibility that he could still do some damage here, but the problem with that I, I have is that uh, that estimate is quickly going to move away, and I'm sure those arcs don't want to turn into engage because they what have Stride. What, what, would you do if, what would you do with Stride? And in this case, remembering his one bank is not green. Mm. It's two bank is the only green, I believe. Unfortunately. Uh, it's very ghost-like. It does have a one forward, and I think... I think Striden is gonna gonna have to move, and I don't know because you do need to remove that stress. So you got to, you're locked between doing a one forward, a two forward, or two bank. As with pattern analyzer, um, he's stressed already. He's already stressed. It's, it's not gonna work. Get, uh, okay, it's not gonna work. Um, he could bank right, but then that locks uh, Oiken off from turning around. So a one forward would keep Oiken in the game, but Oik, but it means that Striden's probably not gonna get attacked this game. Although Striden is more there to buff. He is a support. He needs, he's a support he thing. He's not there. So, if he gets a shot, he's lucky. But I, I think you've got two, two, two ways. So, like, real question is: Do you want to go one bank left, hope to have a shot on one of them? Most likely not on Fain Carroll. He is definitely just gonna do two straight or, or something. Shooting oh. the other arcs is not so important right now, as taking out one of the ships. Mm. Or you can just do two bank or two straight, and just give all the modifications available. To the decimator, I would probably just go for the support version. I agree. Go support. Please stress. If Please you get your attack, then lovely. But he's he's more there to make sure Oiken is as dangerous as he is. Um, and now Oiken is now playing the catch up game, which is now the unfortunate side of things. Yep. Um, do you have one hard turn on the decimator? I think you do. Uh, no, you, you do don't. not. Oh, no, you don't. It's you only don't. a one bank. Okay. So he could do a. I mean. You There's can't do their devils that. straight up because you are stressed. So well, you I cannot be coordinated. Well, yet. I was thinking, would you do a one forward experimental, uh, not experimental in the face, uh, inspiring recruit away the two stress? Uh, Daredevil. You have to do a two no, straight. No, it needs to be two straight. Oh, one, one, oh, you're right. ones are not green. You're right. And that would actually mean he's on the debris field. So he could have actually put himself in a very awkward so spot here. Two bank right is like, I think Oiken must go first to two bank to the right mm. and probably like. That's his only maneuver, and then wait for dice modifications from Strider. Or do a, or do some, yeah, because he's not gonna. If it, all, he's, mm. it all hinges on what Mags is gonna do, because if Mags plays the runaway game and goes after rear arc shots on Strider, then it means that Oikens may be maybe away from the engagement zone. Mm. But if they turn in, then we have the possibility of Str of Strider bumping into them or bumping into Thane at least, stopping him maybe getting arcs on the others. And then having the decimator come in and do his full swing. Mm. If Oiken would have not done the Daredevil, he would be probably better here because he would be where the two rear arcs are right now. Yes, he would be. And he would just do two bank to the right, clear his one stress from uh, from from the tactician that he got. He's got two stress right now, though. Yes. So he would he would have just one if he would not uh, do. That's true, if yes. He wouldn't do their devil. That is true. Mm. Do you think he did it just because he had the ability to do it? Because I find, in X-Wing, I find sometimes you may you end up doing things that's not optimal just because you can do them. Well, the thing is, he didn't know where both of these arcs are going to go. That is so very true. that was just, just mm. a call. Good or not, it's easy to judge <laughs> yeah, yeah. later, right? That is true. Hindsight is twenty twenty, as we like to say. Mm. I completely agree. But, you know, I think I think this is the thing. At this point in the stage, you think, yeah, Michael's taken a bit of a pounding, but the moment he gets behind Striden, that's taken at least 50% you know, at yes, least of, of damage firepower. firepower. Yeah. And also at the position they are right now, the Boshek is not going to work, the Captain Oiken's ability is not going to work, Daredevil will not be able to double, um, double bump into someone. Yeah. Um, mm. This is the thing I find with Striden. Yes, he's got a potent potent primary but there's no turning around ability in that it's not well that's kind of what the shuttles thing is i mean there's a reason it's got a four attack primary because it's very rare that you're going to bring arc on it most of the time it's there for when you need it it is more of a support ship as we've seen um it really does need things like in jump grade to give it a bit more of a maneuverability yes. to get around mm. well think about it this way you have a 30 point ship more or less the cheapest one circular pilot so uh, yeah it must be 30 30 32 probably yeah okay. and you get four red dice and one green which is unique already because the other ship with four red is the ghost yep which doesn't have any agility and you have a decent have... six and six 
uh, hull and shields and also if you compare the up, um, epsilon to the lambda shuttle you get two hard mm. white there is the phantom just so, just bring out there there is the phantom mm. yeah slightly different I case for I know. obvious reasons but very you, different case, if you but... compare it to lambda it's mm. straight better because oh, yeah. it's got more hull, yeah. more shields, same agility, more firepower, and better dial. And could we see a so, block here by uh, by Thane? It is possible. I think you are correct. Yeah, he's gone short. So that means uh, the fleet, no, the systems officer is going to trigger. But that's it. Because you have executed the green maneuver. But you are essentially losing two more actions now. Yeah. And that's a pain. That is unfortunate, but a great tactical maneuver by Mags there to deny yes. the action. He is, yes. of course, going to pass along the target lock, yep. so why not? But that's it. I also think that Darren made a mistake here by triggering his inspiring recruit on the Epsilon. Because now he can't do it on the Decimator. Yes, exactly, and keeping double stress stride, and in this case, would not make any difference because he can't take his actions anyway. Yeah. And you can declare using it after you execute your maneuver, I think. Ooh. Bold choice by uh, Darren okay. here, going away from the engagement zone, doing a straight. I mean, he could he could bank boost. He left, must have but... he must have taken an electronic mm -hmm. baffle last turn then, mm. or forgot that he got too stressed from doing experimental interface into into fleet officer. Did he actually remove the stress? Can we see the he... stresses somewhere? No, he's they don't got any there more. Any there anymore. Recruit is only on one. I'm going to double check that because that it is, is how possible it that be. he used electronic baffle on major stride, and which should not be possible at this stage because the trigger window yeah, has already passed. Um, right. So uh, he took target lock. He took focus for his action on Captain Icon. Yep. And now we have. Um, number two. So Shara Bay moved and target locked. Captain Strident, I believe. Yes, she target looks Strident. Yep. Uh, he's always trying to do stuff on the yeah, board yeah. while, while Elliot's, away, Elliot's away here. Yep. Yeah. That is her. And then um, we will have Nora Wexley from the back. Showing a not... one bank. That's a nice little way of separating this, actually, Mark. That was a nice... There we go. So, yeah, he forgot to... He root both tokens by mistake. Um, he didn't engage... Um, the inspiring recruit. No. So he is still single stressed. Yes. So it was not a mistake. He planned this. He whole, planned they it. They just removed yes. the tokens slightly yeah. incorrectly. And yeah. we have so we have target lock from Shara Bay on Major Strident, and we've got target lock from Nora Wexley on the same target, and they focus as well. I don't so know that's range one though. It might not be. Yes, you are correct. We that's going to be a, that's going to be a potent firepower by two by two arcs. Yes. Yeah, it was so range we two from it... Nora Wexley first. We have hit and and eyeball, I think. Hmm. So if this is Shara, this hmm. this would be Shara because she's the, she could just add. And she's, she's using target lock from Shara she, Bay. Yep. So she's using Shara Bay's target lock to add yep. the uh, and a result, and he's also playing her own, I think, to reroll the attack. So, well, whoa. Oh, he's spending two, he's two both the target locks. Two target locks to... Uh, wait, can you do that? After... Uh, when it finish... Not the one... No, no, when the attacking or, def or defending, you may spend a target lock you have. Well, um, um, I don't think you can do it twice. I don't think you can do it twice, Because the general yeah. rule is also say you can trigger every ability once per every once per trigger, trigger yeah. window. I'm going to go and... Let, let two. As much as it is potent, yes. Yeah, if he wants to re-roll that for that fourth dice, then by all means. But it should be hit eyeball blank. You can add another eyeball, which would make it hit eyeball eyeball blank, and then you can re-roll the last blank. because of the. Yeah. Um, so you still have seventy-five percent chances of getting the fourth hit, but you can't get it guaranteed for free. Yes. Um, and obviously, if it's a focus at that point, you wouldn't have spent your focus. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a uh, you can spend two tiger locks as long as they're from diff for different effects. Mm -hmm. yes. So yeah, you can spend one of them to add the nibble result and spend the second one to modify to modify any possible blanks. Yeah. It's a shame because that that would have been a nice little bit of a punchy push. Okay, so. <laughs> Darren pointed out that you can't do it twice, so he spent the other target to re-roll and then reacquired it using R5K6. So, oh, that was the additional green dice. Okay. Yes. 
So he got four hits, I believe. And um, I think he dodged one with stride, and we can see it here. He's got three shields left. Three shields left, cool. On the, on the shuttle. Cool. A lot going on here. Yes. <laughs> Very lot. Mm. And we should have a shot from Shara Bay. Yeah, that's perfectly legal, legal rogue story. We were concerned about spending two for the same effect on Nora Wexley. That's the thing we, we, that we know you can't do. Mm. Yes. Quite categorically. Yeah, it would have been interesting, rather than putting Nine Numb, to have Ray on there, for example. Because then Ray could have you know, could have done a focus, Mental pass focus. one across with Ray, spend the Tiger Lock to attack with, spend the Tiger Lock to defend with. Mm, well, I guess it's there for a support of Push the Limit, I guess. Mm. To make it a bit oh, easier yeah, to yeah, show. Oh, yeah, it's wrong. Yeah. It's wrong. It's, it's, it's... And also you would have to remove something from the list to fit Ray, because she's two points. Yeah, she's two Numb points. It's only one. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, what we have going on. We actually, for our second game, have another arc list with another Epsilon list as well. So it's uh, <laughs> it's very weird, because that, that wasn't planned. It just seemed to have happened. It was, like, it was like what happened two weeks ago when I was on stream against Oliver. Oh, oh, here we go. We've got an attack going on here. Oh, It's four dice, so it must be Shara Bay. Yeah, it must be Shara Bay. Trident. With... Oh. Two no. hits, I think, one evade, that might... That's just evaded. Or... There, was an, there was a focus and focus a and hit, yeah. and one evade. There was no damage yeah. there. If only she kept her target lock. Yeah. We have ranged three shot coming from Fane Car Kyrell into the Decimator. That's one hit there, and it might be avoided. Did he not trigger R three A two? I can't see a stress. No, I didn't. I didn't see that either. Maybe he's opted not to, which is a tactic. That, isn't but... that a mis you know, Would that be a mistake? It would then force him into having to do a green well, maneuver. Remember, he will have to move first. Ah, because he's going across the debris cloud anyway. He's going to be stressed. After doing a manoeuvre, so he's going to be stressed as a net end result. Oh, that's three more damage cast to Thane. I think that's Thane dead. Is it? Yes. Yep, there goes Thane. Did we see any damage coming into the Decimator? We saw one hit go for the Despair from uh, Thane, and that's it. Uh, no, no, but look at the Decimator. Uh, oh, there is no damage cards on the Decimator. There is, is one. That, there is one. There, there is, is one. one. Yes, yeah. yes, okay, there is one. Okay, sorry. Okay, so now it comes down to Strider, who goes just to, to two hits. And evaded by one. I'm going to move this over here. Because that's no longer needed, because Thane's out of here. Yeah, and I believe that attack, if I remove the overlay, we can see that that was on Nora Wexley. Yep. So, Nora took one shield. So we now have two Arc Aces. Versus pretty a, much full health. Versus a pretty healthy Decimator and but Shuttle. Is, but this is where it gets interesting. Those Arcs do not have regen. No, they don't. Um, it's not looking good for Michael. I mean, he's he shoved a good amount of damage on the first exchange. However, the second one really fell flat. Um, he needs to really start pushing something through. Otherwise, it's gonna it's not gonna in his, fa his favour. One no. arc. If, if it gets down to one arc, there's no way one arc and one decimator can, can so I can take down one decimator and a shuttle. And um, you are correct there, but I think realistically, if if Michael has planned these next couple of moves nicely, he'll only be really engaging one at a time. And if you can lay some big punishment into Striden while um, Oiken's coming back into play, mm. and he's got two fairly chunky arcs left mm. afterwards, mm. that could be, make all the difference. We also have some terrible placement here by Darren, who has the really field to contend with. He's either mm. got to go through it and get to just suffer the, suffer the crit, or, or turn away the, um, from the engagement. Yeah, or turn away, or continue on forward and keep get further away from the engagement zone, leaving those arcs to pick that shuttle to pieces. I reckon he's going to just do two hearts to the two right. Battle. Maybe even stay on the debris field because it doesn't make any difference no. if you stay on this. I agree. I, I, think, I think you want to keep him in the battle. Yeah. And if I he's going to get a target lock anyway yeah. from... Um, Good point. Uh, I guess you get all full modification, actually. Oh, there is one more possibility here. You could hold on a second. You could do a daredevil first from coordinate action, stay on the debris field, take two points of stress, and then do a activate green for two straight green and bank to the right, right, which would put Captain Oiken more or less close to the debris field to his right side. Yeah, I, which I... would let him stay very close to the engagement, assuming that is what he wants to do but there's an issue if he starts to if he rolls a critical he's taking a critical damage to his hull and if that's like a direct hit is that move really worth it 
Well, that's the, that's he, the risk. That's he, the risk. And the, the Daredevil being the way it is as well, he could quite... Oh, because he's got Angel Grey anyway to prevent that, so ignore me. I mean, if he does Daredevil, he's going to be he's not going to go over it again because he's going to be essentially beyond it. Oh, who might that be on this? On the, on this Hang on a minute. Is that oh. the keyword the professor that you just used? Call sign professor. I've, oh. I've got my bet. Who might that be? Mm. I wonder if that's um, our I friend if, over in a... I wonder if our Swiss time is running out. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Puns. Hi, Owen. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is the beauty of this list. You can do so much stuff. You can do boost first. You can do um, daredevil first. You can execute your maneuver to clear the stress from doing daredevil that you have just executed. Mm, I actually think so not many a bad possibilities. Call. I and think I think you might be onto something here, mm. especially with the inspiring recruits around. Yeah. I think I think you might be right. He he could plan that, and that's actually a genius maneuver. Um, I don't think <laughs> Michael would absolutely see that one coming at all. No, there's the. You kind of think of, like, most of the time you think it was obvious on the dial. Mm, and yeah. you, you think, like, the hards and straights are obvious, well, but not a one hard on a dial it where it's not got one. Here's a small one forward from yep. uh, the Upsilon to clear its stress. He might be trying to block Nero Exley, although with BB-8... That's not going to happen. Gonna <laughs> no, so you'd move... It force her to move more to the right, which is not bad because you might actually not get into the arc of her, mm. possibly. Okay. Yeah. So coordinate, I believe he's... He, yep, he is doing corner action. He's doing systems officer oh, first for yep, target locks, of obviously. Mm-hmm. He's a green maneuver. There's the target lock. So applied to Nora Wexley. Yes. And he's going to mm. do coordinate. If a genius maneuver, but he doesn't have bombs. Someone is making a reference to the genius astromech that is never, literally never in use. But <coughs> it will definitely change with the release with of wave, Captain wave Nim. 11. Mm. With wave 11. Because Captain Nim is just made to... And here he is, is doing this. He's doing, he's doing it. This. He's so doing it. For those who are not, who are following us, so he is now coordinating Captain Oiken yep, so to do a free action because he's not stressed, so he might do it. And that free action is Daredevil, which gives him Daredevil. a stress. He also he lands on the asteroid or the refill, which gives him a stress. So if and he's on two straight here, he could be absolutely golden. He's fine. No damage. He no probably damage. did not put the second stress, but it kind of doesn't. Magic. There it goes. Oh, he, there it goes. There it goes. Like warning lights on either side of that thing. It's and to be honest, he might as well just do two hearts to the right and not don't worry about the stress because the strike gun is now using experimental interface, as we can see from the stress to use fleet officer to, to his focus. Yeah, to assign focus. focus. I agree. But wouldn't there that be go. risky with the potential risk of going over or very close to another debris cloud? It, so you land on it. So what? You still get your shot. Matter. You've got all your you wants. Be triple stressed. You will be triple stressed though, but if Strider lives long enough, he will give you all the tokens you need anyway, even if you're stressed. Mm, true, true. That is the beauty of this list. If you if you look at most of the list when you have shuttle and other stuff, you can just... Ooh, he's banking onto difference. it. Okay. So he clears one. He clears both if you want to use the... That is true. But, but you will get another one, one anyway. That could be an efficient use, because if he's not going to I use... I mean, the position yeah. is great. The yeah. position is great. Yeah. So he's still got two. Is he going to use it? Uh, he, he is. is so he removes both, but then assigns oh, one back on. He will have to take a dice roll again. Yep. 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 There we go. There's the stress applied from the uh, debris field. Mm -hmm. And then he rolls. This time he gets lucky again with no that's, damage that's, through. That's two dice rolls in the same turn and both being blank. So remember, for... remember only critical hits damage. Mm. So, and but he... hopefully those dice, those blanks have come out now so he can punch through a big attack. Yeah. And here comes, because he's going to catch those <laughs> arcs. There's no way to catch, not, oh, well, unless of course, um, Mary, hello. unless uh, Shara yeah. is running. Oh no, she's doing okay. Mm -hmm. Completely unexpected, I think. Michael might have been taken it, completely yeah. by surprise. I mean, he just wants to stay behind the strider. The I think he just wants to stay yeah. behind the strider and not only stay, but also keep following oh. him. Oh, d oh, here. Oh, here we go. He's well, stressed my because of... Going... He's stressed no, because of... Um, was it... Of Mara? From, no, it can't be Mara from last uh, From Push the Limit. That's oh, course, yeah, She has pushed the limit. So that is one turn. of the reasons why he wanted to take Nian Nam. Because if you look at the arc style, it's okay because you have one and two banks green. Uh, you but your straight yeah, maneuvers are doing push the not limit. great. Now, has he got arc on the decimator? It's going to be close. I think he might or is he just go for have it. Would you go for the decimator though? Because it's Trident Strider. is not a bad target, and he will he would be shot by two ships at the same time. Mm. 
So Strident from to start it looks yeah. on the Strident. Which is what he's doing. So I, I yeah, I started I started saying this. Most of the time when you see a list with shuttle and some other ship, you try to get behind the shuttle and shoot the other thing. In this case, even if you shoot the other thing, which would be the decimator, well, the Strident is still in great use because well, he gives hit, you all hit, the dice modifications. But hit focus, although he's missed out on the modification again. Uh, he can use he can use the alliance overhaul. Uh, modification set has missed though, unfortunately. All right, okay. To add the um, uh, oh, he's going to keep it back for defending. For defense, yes. Defending is better against no, the full guys. Because no, you cannot use you cannot oh, use it not, because no, you are target using, locked on the. No, no, because he was using um, Shara first. It was a three dice. How did Shara? Target. How did Shara get the target lock? Uh, she didn't. He didn't do any rerolls, did he? Not last time, no. No. So now this is... Now it is. This is a shot. So, a, so, so that's why there was no modification, so because it was Shara Hit that crit, crit. First. Yep. Hit crit, crit. And there's an evade, so we got lucky there. Uh, Strident <laughs> removes the one shield he's got left, so he had, did take damage in the last exchange. Shield mm -hmm. down. Take a crit. Which is... We don't know what. I can't exactly see what that is. But it looks one? a lot of card text, and it looks like it's an action thing on it. Mm. Maybe damage sensor already. Uh, Stunt pilot? No, it's an action. Text. Weapons failure, no. It could be major, it could be major, major explosion. Hel major hell breach? He would be rolling dice after major That's true. Hell. Yeah, major explosion could be. Yeah. If it's a major explosion, that would be turned down right it now. It could also be okay, damage sensor. Shoot, right? He's shooting with Oikon, I think. Yes. Oh, oh. That's a lot of paint on those dice. Yeah. That's so why I would have kept that target oh, lock nice. back. No, you cannot spend this target lock if Oikon is shooting at you. You have to spend the target lock from the ship that is shooting at you, I think. Oh, of course. Or yeah, yeah, I... yeah, no, no, you are right, you are right, sorry. So, so two oh, shields are damage. Yes. Oh, painful. Two shields and two. A critical hit and a, and a normal hit. Imperials I, are starting... I don't think this has worked out. For it's slowly like edging not. in the fate. It is edging the favor of Darren here. Could the bridesmaid finally be the bride today? You probably have equal amount of health left on both of those ships at the moment. And yeah. I mean, think... Maybe he could take down the shuttle, but I don't think he's going to win this one. Yeah, he would want to really have all that firepower to bring to bear on the decimator mm. now that he knows the shuttle mm. has gone away. And I guess if you take down the shuttle, you have nixed the support aspect on Oiken, so Oiken's either got a daredevil or... However, Oik is in a perfect opportunity here to just... I'm going to bump, bump right into so you, Nora Wexley. With Oiken, you could do one straight. Oh, this is not green. Oh. So it'd be two straight. Two straight, two straight. Mm, might <laughs> bypass. Well, the base is one. Be... The small base is yeah, one. I don't know. It, it looks very close. And also, if he would do one straight, he would still be on the debris field, which means he would clear the stress, yes, but he would still be overlapping it. So he would get another one. So he wouldn't be able to do uh, Daredevil here. Hmm... On the other hand, you put damage on Nora for free, just for going into her, and Strident will give you focus and target lock. Well, depending where she, where you've placed, could you use Strident to give you... I uh, know you can't because you have No, because you're stressed, stressed, so you can't yes. do their... Can't do coordinate, yes. yes. There is a lot going on with damage. I yes. like it, I Owen like is, it. Oh, and he's making a good point here. Uh, yeah, Oiken made... So, yeah. so just just remember when where Oiken was at the start of last turn. He was facing... Upwards, so he's facing and he was in front flag. of, and he was in front of, of of the debris field, and he essentially made a K turn, and slid three distance to the right, almost like. I mean, you're talking about. I mean, if I just do uh, this, o yeah, Oiken was about here, there, yes. and he was pointing upwards. And he was pointing upwards, so. So imagine him making 270 degree turn to the right, yeah, and then like sliding to the right side. That's. Quite incredible for a large ship. Very impressive. We'll use the wrong number anyway, but oh well. Oh well. We know what. So. Yeah. But it is, yeah, it's still mighty impressive to get that sort of kind oh, of very. speed and maneuver. Yeah. yeah, you sort of anticipate that speed with a much smaller ship. Wow, incredible. Um, the problem with this is Michael just can't predict any of this. There's so much... I mean, literally, almost. Oiken could go anywhere. There uh, is so many movement shenanigans in this list. Mm. I mean, uh, if, I put... it was, if it was me, personally, from here, I would do... I'll put Shara on a two hard right. Uh, yes. And get a target lock you, you want on... to clear. You want to clear the stress with Shara, though. So, oh, two shoot, bank, so maybe. Two, yeah, two, bank, two, maybe. two bank, bank, and then target bank. lock onto... 
Um, Let's try them. On to... No, on to Weaken. Okay. Because then, if you think about where Nora's going, bank her to the left, bring a rear arc into play, then she ha- then potentially has a target lock um, for attack reroll and have a target lock focus for the defensive reroll, for the defensive modification. I really want to see the maneuvers here. I mm. think Oikon is just going to do straight. And yeah. If he, if he bypasses Nora, that's fine. He will take some dice modifications. He might even then boost into. Um, yes, Jake, he's moving bank, first. Yeah. So there will be no. So there will be no uh, coordination this turn. So Strand's moving away. So he has clears. It is possible. They're checking for range there. Fleet officer. Because he wants to use. No, he used, wants Sparrow to use this one. Oh, yeah. Yep. So there we go. So he clears both of those stress, and then he will just go into the focus, target lock, and no coordinate this time. Yeah, so is he, is he, what is he going to do the um, systems officer? He gets system officer for free anyway. That's systems officer for executing a green maneuver. Mm. I just, the thing is, broken Strand, I don't think for changing your target, the, the Oikon will help. I just think if you're going to go, if this were an actual tournament, try and kill Stride and go for points because you're yes. not going to get, Decimate will kill you before you kill it. Most likely. I don't think Shara, Nora can live long enough. And Shara Bay, with just one action per turn, with but, her support ability that is useless when she is the last one. Okay, R5K6 or whatever is the name of the droid yeah. might be useful, but that's like 30% chances of getting target lock back. Uh, I believe you, you can see eight. just under the wing there, oh, in the lower wing of Nora, I think you can see a red stress token. So Yes, they're both stressed. The... The only thing is as well, though, Elliot, you say that, oh, me being... Oh, from Mara Jade. Oh, there are two stresses. I think there are two stresses here. One from Mara Jade, one from uh, Push the Limit. No, Mara, Mara Jade it. can't pass the stress because he's if already stressed off Push the Limit. I don't At the end of the combat phase, each enemy ship at range bound one does not have a stress okay, against maybe that one. is not a stress token after all. Um, so there might be one stress here. That, that's the, the target lock and there's the stress under the wing, I think. Okay, so he bumps... As we thought might happen. There you go. So that's a damage done to Nora right out of the bat. Off the bat. Yes. Yep. And he will have to make a dice roll because the, he is still on the debris. Yeah, he's still on debris and that means he gains his stress and thus loses action. So mm-hmm. he cannot do it again mm-hmm. with Daredevil. But, just saying, he is focused and he's target looked already. Yeah. Not, that he, not that he matters. That's all right. And, Nor- <laughs> and Nora has to move, so he'll, still get, he'll get to attack Nora. So. And the question is, is he bow checking it? Oh, I would. Uh, he he revealed it too quickly, but I don't think Darren had a chance to take a look at it. Is he going to both check? Yeah, yeah yes, of course. Bowcheck is in play, yes. 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 So reveal the maneuver, because you never expect the Bowcheck. I don't know what that was. I think it's a one forward, maybe it's a bank. If you one bank's right, it's we'll see bad. Is he going to change it? Is, is one bank right bad? Because. Nine numb, straight. So, Ooh. that might be he one. Must straight. be going faster than he's thinking because be. he's locked. He must have locked in a three. That might be one straight. Are you sure? That must. That uh, might have one, been just all, one bank left. All, like, all the ones. No. Are three anyway. Okay. He's doing a he's three doing a straight four forward. Is it four? It's a four. four. Which means. Oh, if he must have locked in like a three bank uh, he, there. No, he K locked turn. in a, a K? K turn. I mean, it's not... Oh, he's a, he did it even when stressed. He changed it to a K. Because Boshek says, if it's a red maneuver, you can still execute it. I think you should have... Still can have we, the can we take a look at Boshek, though? Of course. You should still have the stress. Are you going to get the second stress? I believe you... Hmm, that's a good question. Card, please, dear. Thank you. The ship reveal is a, uh, while it is stressed. stressed. So you should be getting a second it's like stress. Harris and and it looks like he might have two stresses at the moment. Yeah, he does now. Did yeah. he just... They just shook hands there. Probably a congratulations or something. Maybe calling the Boshek. Because don't forget, I don't think I think the Katon was what he... He was expecting Boshek. Yes, yeah. that is possible. Although... Oh, actually... Actually, <laughs> if you look at this from this perspective, it allowed Nora to take a K-turn when it wouldn't be possible 
because she was stressed at the start of the turn. Mm. So he so partly would you have then played into the hand thinking he might so, want to well, K turn if, if he goes for, if he goes four forward he removes the stress. If he yes. doesn't he still gets a K turn. Uh, get... Adjacent maneuver if he's locked into one bank left. Think about where it is on the dial. That's true. One bank is adjacent to the K turn. One bank left is adjacent to the K turn. Yes. Same as the four straight. Yes. But he indicated yeah. nine numb. So presumably it was yeah. a four straight. I mean this is not great for for one important reason. You have this turn with no actions for Nora and next turn for no actions for Nora and she. Is most likely gonna die this or well, next turn. Uh, look at that, just one, just one crit. Now, there was one crit in there. He's, they've moved it away fast. They are changing. I think it's Shara Bay shooting at the Strident because they were just checking the distance yeah. between. And there's two. a focus, ouch. Yeah, and two dice defense that must be Strident on range to mm. defend, on range three defending. Okay, Decimator on two, so no Nora. Damage. Uh, two hits. Nora on the Decimator. And spending the target lock for Target lock, yep. He needs, he needs three. Um, he needs to three. This one. Nope. Tickets. Nora will survive this round. No, it's Nora into the decimator, not the other way, I think. No, it's right for defending. And there's a, I okay. believe that's a focus result, so nothing there for Nora. Nora takes another two damage cards. But this is where you wish she was actually doing a straight maneuver, because if you could have got the. Um, could have got the, the focus and the target lock. Oh! It was a major explosion, and that killed Nora Wexley. Oh, dear. I think, unfortunately, my... That is I it. was not expecting this game to end in mm. such an uneven... I, I asked Michael, actually, when I met him downstairs, I was like, are you bringing a double double ghost? And he was like, no. I was like, oh. Yeah. Because imagine two ghosts against this. There's a lot of firepower well, on both sides. Yeah, but... No, but look at that. Strident probably took two shots for the entire game early on. And then he just started moving forward. So it's it's the decimator with full modifications who is doing the job in here. That is the key thing. I, mm. Strydan barely had anything to do in this game. Uh, he was there to help and make sure that Oik got all his modification. And the movement shenanigans and at movement the same time. Yes. I mean, if you cut off Strydan, if you can alpha Strydan off the board, then you kind of cut Oiken's predict, uh, yep. Oiken down to size, then he's manageable. But if you don't... Kill Strider before you start losing ships. It's over. Although, yeah. you know, who is ever starting with shooting the large guy, the, the Epsilon? Everyone always still goes for the Decimator first because he appeared to be the easy target. Mm. Because of the zero agility. Yes. And because he's the one that will be taking shots at you all the time. Yes. With Strider, you might think, okay, I will outmaneuver him and he will be out of the game. He is not because he is still giving you all your dice modifications. I believe John has beaten Darren before and I'm definitely sure Robin has been uh, Darren, uh, Darren before. Not this list, though. I've not seen him run this list. I don't think he he flied this list since uh, the first Voidix Invitational tournament. Oh, well, there you go. Probably not. I think, I think he might have done the second one, because I def... I definitely remember seeing it around. He, he does love going to this. Oh, with this list, did he? Do you know you fought them in the last one? Uh, I, I didn't know in the third one, so I didn't take part in that one. That Look one. at that. He's not even moved, and he's got all his mods. He definitely don't, didn't use this list on neither in Cambridge, on the Sword Champs, uh, uh, nor in the in the Barry St. Edmunds local tournament. Now, if he, he does, if, he does if he does, if he does two bank and then does a Daredevil, he will probably bump right into Shara. <laughs> Just say it. It's probably not a good call at this moment. Now you want to shoot instead of bumping well, into yeah. people. Oh, then no, he'll move, he still he'll move away. First, so yeah. he'll get everything he wants, steal the damage, and then still get his shot. Yeah. Modified. No. Oh, it's her. Okay. Here comes two bank. Yeah. And that's it, oh, the two bank. Devil. The two bank might actually actually land so anyway. That's his normal. No, no, no. Is he not? It is it. Yes. That's his normal maneuver. maneuver. So uh, he can now daredevil to the right or just take a quality shot. After no, no, he's daredevil, daredevil right. He will daredevil. He will daredevil, I think. That's yes. really close, but yes, he uh, he did. Um, he's passing. I'll make sure that's good. I mean, it would be better for him if you if he would bump. Yeah. Because that would be another point. Yeah, another damage. damage. But there we go, yep, daredevil. daredevil. So he's going to do a one hard turn, which will move a slightly bit now. Which will be eh. Just this. Bonk. <laughs> and that's the damage to Shara Bay, the first shield down off Shara Bay. Yes. Without even a dice roll. No, yeah, this is this there. is like he's effectively got like an onboard. And he will bullshit her as well. <laughs> because why not? Why, why not? not? <laughs> Although again, probably Michael saw this coming. 
We'll see. Can we Google the dial of the arc? It's going to be uh, easier. The arc, the it's arcs, right there on the yeah. right there. There we go. No, no, I mean the actual dial. Oh, the because dial, then you yes. can see which maneuvers are adjacent. So he is doing two bank to the right to clear his stress. That can't be the right dial. Uh, yes, it is. It so is. with two... That's not the right dial. No, it's that's not. not the right dial. It's an OK turn on it. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. It's OK turn on it. That's probably the closest we have. Well, it's not easy to tell. Okay, he's doing two bank to the right. Two bank right. So he must have had two straight, decent maneuver, and two hard to the right, also a decent maneuver. If he wanted to clear his stress anyway, he probably had two straight dialed in, mm. which he changed into two, two, two bank. bank to the right. Which is fine, because he probably have... Mm. Like, both of the ships are in range, so he can choose his target freely. Hmm. It's it's gonna be a sort of like a big big shot uh, coming in now. He so. is trying to fix one of his critical hits with a dice roll, so that might have been um might have been console uh, the damaged console, console fire. sensor ray oh, yeah. or console fire or um one of um, the one that is reducing firepower oh, or agility. Spreading mm. the focus to avoid the entire exchange. And then, of course, rolling the your defense dice to make sure see if you get to keep the target lock, which you probably do. Yes, oh, he hasn't removed them. Oh no, he has. He has removed them. He's not put them back. So yes, yeah. So he's so not. That was a shot at Oiken. Yeah. Oh no, he made he made a shot at uh, Strydan actually. So how did he reacquire his target lock? Oh, five K six. But I can't see so any he, target locks. So Shara shot at Oiken after all. No, she shot it because. Uh, uh, oh, that's that's Darren's target look. Sorry, yes. my mistake. Yes. The, the, the defensey. Yeah. Okay. Here we fine. go. Here we go. Three hits. Four. Uh, four hits. And the focus for. Good measure. Set of hits. There's, I think, an evade, a single evade in there. We'll see in a moment. You kind so of feel like two shields. Nope. Four hits. Four hits. Four hits. All four go through. She is going to die so quickly. Yeah, this is not going to last long. She's got four hull left. Yep. Mm. And also we have unstressed Oiken, so... Too hard right. Oh no, he's not going to get coordinated because he's too far away, Yep, I believe. Yeah, too hard right, and then maybe so he ended up great and just go, oh, yep. what a shame. Yep. Or Daredevil, or Daredevil. just clip. Yeah. You, know, you didn't really need to worry about your tokens he at this stressed, point, though. because he you're like... Stressed on Oiken. There is a stress. Yes. There's a stress, yes. 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 And, oh, yeah, range, range one. So Everything you're definitely, is stressed. definitely stressed. Shower as well. Yeah. So he's going to be locking in greens here, which is going to make him so predictable. Stress so true. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. At least no someone beat him with it. Shooting Strident is a bad call. I would not... I mean, is Strident on half points already? Um, he is. Yes. Yes. He is. He so is. maybe that's the reason why he's taking shots but at the Captain Oakman. mathematically, now. I was going to say this earlier, mathematically, though... If you're trying to get the most amount of points you can, Oiken is more expensive, and you haven't gotten to half points yet. And it's easier. You actually need three more damage points on the decimator. Uh, it's a total of 16, so you need eight. So it needs to be four damage cards, so three, yes. Three more. And then if you want to get extra points from for strike, then you need to put five points of damage. Exactly. Against a ship that is farther from you. Exactly. And that has that's, agility as well. That's why I would have fired Shara into... Yep. Into Oiken and just try to I, clear. I'm, oh, did he do that? No, because we we have seen green dice. Yeah, I would, I would, have, done a, I would have done a target lock into um, Oiken. Into Oiken. Now you're mm -hmm. getting your crit conversion. Yep. Um, only because the fact that Oiken's about 57 points, I believe, from what I saw, and yep. um, Strident's at 43. But... So we can, we can see that Oiken did not Daredevil, and he did not boost it, because he wouldn't have any dice modifications. Yeah. I think he just... Took target lock or focus, you can't see from here. What kind of... Oh, he was stressed, so he did two hearts to the right, yes. which is white maneuver, so he stays stressed. No dice modification for him. Where but still did he range stress from? Still fine. No, she didn't uh, move Dead yet. Devil she last did. round. She didn't move yet. She uh, Dead Devil yet. with engine upgrade, though. Y yeah, but. He's using electronic buffle. You would go off the board right if you tried to remove the stress. You'd go off the board. From last turn? Yes. He was pointing downwards, and pointing remember downwards. that no speed one maneuvers on the decimator are green. Yep. Oh, yeah. So he'd ha he had to... No, Daredevil, because he has the boost action. Well, how are you going to do oh, it? Oh, no, Dare sorry, sorry no, Daredevil gives the stress. Yep. The boost stops yep. the, the damage. Sorry, but bear with me. I haven't played right, with Daredevil there's, there's, yet. There's, so. two, there's a two forward there, which is going to be a range two, unless he chooses to barrel roll with uh, Shara Bay. 
I. This has been so almost one. I mean, he just he just he just wants to take a shot and put some damage on Icon. Yeah. Target lock and that's it. Like there's there, nothing there else we you go. can do here. There's nothing else you can do. And this no. is and like the side and well. would probably be rolling three defense dice here because range and asteroid is yeah. anything. Extracted, so so you might as well go for Icon. Yeah. Um, he target locked Icon, so he's obviously going to yeah. shoot him. Yeah. And you, you might be able to get down to half points region with Oiken mm -hmm. on the stage. Yeah, a couple of, couple of crits and hope for direct hits, please. Yep. Well, yeah, I think you always have a direct hit when there's only crits coming through. But uh, Major explosions with direct hit is better than taking just a straight direct hit, obviously. Of course. Right then, here we go. So when it probably doesn't... the final round of combat, we've got 14 minutes left on the round. I don't think we'll need 14 minutes. Uh, one. Uh, is he still having this this? Um, the critical, critical, I believe so. So two dice, which means it's not weapons failure. Spending target lock. Two hits. Um, also, he did an action, which means it's not um, damage sensor array. Mm. So we have console fire. Half for... of K K6. He nope. does not keep the target lock. Three. That's enough for... Five. Five. What is that? Is he counting them? I think he is counting them. Five in total. So what... He took damage somewhere along the line. We might have missed a shot or two, mm. <laughs> probably. Or three or four. Five. Okay, yeah. there we go. So half points on Oiken. Okay, Seven. so if That's not me. bad. That's not bad. He's so got half me, points. If Shara survives the next 14 minutes, I know it's a big if, but if he follows um, Striden, finishes off Striden without firing another shot... I don't think you can outrun Captain Oiken. You Oiken can't with outrun Oiken. He's got it's boost no and dead. Evan. And He's also remember, no the arcs dial is surprisingly good for greens because you have banks one and blocks, two, blocks but it's rings. slow. But mm. it's slow. Even your three banks are. You'd rather okay, have Nora are. left in this situation, though. Yes, of course. I'm just saying at the point of the fact of if Striden goes now, Oiken is less points on the table than what Shara is. That's why I'm saying if he can survive is the next he? 14 minutes. Is he though? Yeah. We must be the arc. Quickly. The arc base is about the same as what. So we have 42, 45, 46, 48, 31, 33. Oh, 56. Okay, I'm stupid. Sorry. So, so at, 20, this point, at this point, uh, rounded up. 20, so 29. 29. 29. I think so. Shara Bay, Bay is. Uh, yeah, 29. Is more than that. Yeah, got to be. You see Although, that? Strident is five health left. 33. 33, so four points difference. In so three. mathematically, mathematically, if if Michael has seen it and gets away with this, oh, a bump on oh, the whole. Such an unexpected situation. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got another hull down yeah. from Shara Bay. You really think she's going to survive? Was this a green maneuver? I, it was not. He was not. He still got stress. He still got the stress. Does he really matter? Because he's now know he's going to probably going straight. All he's got to do. is... I mean, he Shara is not going to be able to kill no. Striden. There is no way. No. But a boy can dream, right? <laughs> so look, and he is actually yeah. trying to re-engage with Striden. Yeah, risking the crit from the the resource. So that will be a yeah. stress. Which I wonder if he will try to use electronic buffle. Maybe. If that's the case, he's going to take... You know, when, when, he when the game is going good for you, you sometimes get sloppy. You do sometimes get sloppy. That could cost him if he's uh, not careful. Let's see what he's trying to do. He's thinking about something. He does have to roll for the damage. He could... And we might see Boshek again. That is true. Um, he modes. Yes, he just wants to get into rank 3. That is correct. Okay, so there's the... the Two stress, two stress. One from doing a red maneuver, one from going into uh, debris. He's not baffling. I didn't see a dice roll, though. They could have done that off the table. He's still thinking about this because he hasn't actually rolled his dice for the. The, the moment maneuver. he rolls his dice, he's made his decision. Yes. I think he's wondering if he wants to baffle or not. Uh, would the baffle remove both of them? Uh, only if you could use the spiral recruit, which you're not close enough to the to do so. And damage to discard that token. Yeah, but theoretically, yes, with Inspiring oh, Recruit. Oh, oh, he's messing about uh, with The them. Inspiring Recruit is too far away because it's on the Captain Yeah, way too far and away. it's only a range one too. So there is no way. You would have to take two points of damage. He's basically thinking about the next round. Two points of damage? That's a whole different story. But, but he's received Pattern Analyzer, so because he can... oh, he's still on an asteroid, he's still going to get the manu... Was he stressed? Get actions. Was he stressed? He was he not is... stressed. He's stressed now. But he's but he still bumped on an asteroid, though, so he won't get actions? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Use pattern analyzer before taking stress from going over debris? 
But he still won't take any actions because he's going to cost uh, three. Well, it doesn't matter because as landing on an asteroid makes you skip your form action step. It's not an asteroid, though. It's a debris, oh, debris field. field. So yeah, but it's uh, sorry, debris field. But it's still an obstacle which makes you skip your form action step. Mm, I don't think that is correct. It is. There is not a fact like that. It is baffle. Sorry, uh, pattern, pattern analyzer. analyzer. Uh, I think the reference card for debris cloud would... Uh, Let's have a look here. Obstacle. Uh, ob obstacle might. The ship cannot barrel roll if it overlaps. Da, da, da. That must be different. Next, yeah. Boost. So someone just took a damage point. I think he. Oh, he, oh, baffled, he baffled them. He baffled. Wow. So we need two howl uh, less, less on well, yeah, You can't that. baffle both, can you? Because why not? Uh, I want per. Uh, He's put pattern analyzer over there to but each of the them is a separate trigger separate window because each of them is when you receive a stress. That is true. They are a separate instance. But only He's going for this, so we have to find this out quickly, guys. Uh, if you go back a little bit, because there's something about free actions. Obstacles. If a ship executes a maneuver, if it fails to maneuver to open up an obstacle, it executes maneuver normal and suffers an effect. Asteroid, debris cloud. Second sentence. After skipping the perform action step, blah, blah, blah. So yeah. after, you skip, yeah. and there is nothing about on the debris cloud. Yes, it is. So yes, it is. Right there. Look, 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 after the... Uh, okay, okay. Step. But that's the first sentence. The ship must skip its perform action step this round. Okay. This sentence does not appear on the debris cloud description. Okay. So technically speaking, if you can get rid of the stress, you can perform your actions. Okay. But it appears he is still double stressed. He checks the stress after the perform action, a uh, perform, uh, perform action step. But then he's got no actions to do. I still think this is still. I'm not sure how locked in the, in the same situation. Oh, here we go. It's, uh, so it's one crit, one damage. It's not gonna. Not gonna do much. No, and he. Um, message from Hedge, by the way, it. guys. Yes, the stress and debris flat soldier action, which is clearly labeled out as there. Can action after debris or buffles? See, I did not know that. Hmm. That's actually very important. Yes, 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 exactly. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah, correct, yeah. 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 Alright then. So Strident is... I'm not even sure if he took any damage. No. Well... With Captain Oiken. Two hits. And I believe... This could be all she wrote. There's a focus result. That's two more cards dealt to Shara Bay. And I sh he, she should still be alive on one left. Unless we miscalculated along the way. It's a shame that we can't see in it, see it here on, on the stream, but Darren's decimator has been modified to put LED lights inside the hull. Yeah. So if you look at the like the, the, the bridge uh, windows... The bridge windows are lit up and have an LEDs in them. Very nice. It's basically all... I say all um, Darren needs to do is do a two, two bank left, yep. and this is all she wrote. That's exactly what Owen just suggested. And... That sounds very reasonable. Yeah. And you don't care if he will get shot or not? Because he'll get focused be on target one. lock. There isn't going to be another shot. I mean, bump. did Shara get any damage points this turn? She did receive two Which damage. means she's dead. She's dead. Because Before she will ever be yeah. able to... She will even be Because we all know that Oiken is going to do what he can to bump into her and then kill her. So. Coordinate. Coordinate to do a boost well, left. Well, it's crew. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, this way. Fine. Just can't do actions otherwise. Fine. So, systems officer. systems officer. There we go. Here comes the coordinate. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. okay. And then, because Oiken's just going to... That's fine. ...do this. <laughs> <laughs> and boom. And then you can... Pro like, do you even have to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I always do. I can't there even we go. Do anymore. Just ram it straight in. There we go. Oh, uh, I feel sorry for Michael, because that... Yeah, that had, that had a bit of promise to start off with. You sort of thought, oh, this might have a chance, and then it just sort of and slipped through his fingers a little you bit. You can't really point any obvious mistakes no. from the game we have seen. No, he played fairly well. He, he, played, he played the game well. Personally, if it was me, I would love to have seen um, Oiken move first for when Fane was on the board. Because potentially the manoeuvre from Fane could go over the top get his actions and have a range one shot so there could be like three shots coming in that one turn hmm. um, but that's that's about the only thing that I would say is a marginal but then if it was Darren who won the dice roll 
and then elected to give Michael the initiative for that reason. Yeah. I'm going to go and get our next... Michael did, did what he wanted to do with mm. um, not getting shot by Striden a lot. Yeah, he no. him nicely. He stayed behind. Okay, Striden is going to give his dice modifications still. Yeah, it was stupid. But like, you know, four or less mm. red dice coming your way any time. So. Yeah, no, it was, it was stupid though that the, the action efficiency was, was there even while Oikin was stressed. And that was the thing that was a bit alarming to me that he was getting all that efficiency... Still with like two or three stress on board. It's just like, yeah, you know, from a from a guy who loves his action synergy anyway, as you're very much aware of. Um, that sort of seemed a very sort of strange situation to have well, stress and the, still getting actions. That's how the list is built. That's how, for example, all the mindling li- lists are built. Mm. Everyone is stressed. Just one just of them one needs, needs to clear to the stress yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to give him the stress. Mm. That's the way, for example, all the current very popular in the meta scam synergies based on K4 security droids are yeah. built. You get your target look no matter what you do. Oh, yeah, do. No, I, I love, I love yeah. when I used to play Manoru with K4 security yep. droid, you know. Not to mention, like, scams have a lot of options like that because even the Authlotech crew member, yeah. who is not in use a lot, whenever you execute a red maneuver, acquire a target lock. It's yeah. another reason to, to get your dice modification or K-turns or... Pretty much every time yeah, you'll be able to do it. Yeah, imagine putting one of those on a Trandoshan Slave, and if you go green, if you do a green maneuver, you get your K4. If you Chris go Patek red, did this. You... Chris did this on the Escalation League. He okay. had Trandoshan Slaver with Gerido, Outlaw Tech, and some other crew member I don't remember now. So he was doing one straight green maneuver, clean his stress, take a target lock, take some shots, and next turn he was doing full stop. Which is a red maneuver, which lets him take the target look anyway because of the auto attack. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's just completely bonkers, you know. Um, I do, I do like the Trandoshan Slavers. Well, stuff. you are using your very, very valuable uh, crew slots that you have mm. on. Like, if you look at the at the crew members, pretty much for every faction, there, this is the crucial slot, because alternative for this mentioned auto attack, for example, is K four security droid or Dengar. Or Forlom or Boba Fett. I was going to say, message so many... actually from Hedge here, actually. Adult Tech is for focus rather than a target lock. Oh. Um, focus, not target lock. Okay. But, I did um, not use that card a lot, though. So I no, I, I must admit, I don't either. It came out with the. Did it come out with the most wanted expansion? I can't remember. I think it did. Outlaw Tech? Yeah. Yes, it was. Um, yes. yes. You know. As well, K, K4 Security Droid as well, I think. Yeah. Um, but you know it's still a... are they joining us uh, they won't be joining us in here because we need to set up for the next game okay but I thought while we've got you in here uh, okay Wojtek, I would discuss something between you between all of us which came up today in the X-Ring UK Facebook page which is Jabba <laughs> oh yeah that was <laughs> that was fun um, I must admit I was at work when I saw it I was like oh so come on so someone took Jabba to a store championship we don't know what tournament was it. We no. don't know if that was yes. Star Championships or a normal tournament. Okay, we don't know what it was, but we know it was, it was an event with an official unofficiator and a tournament organiser. And someone took Jabba. And f- unfortunately, due to the wording on Jabba, it made Jabba completely useless. Well, not completely, well, you know. but completely inefficient. Unefficient, yes. Mm. Um, so, yep. Yeah. Well, uh, so... The the argument was that because Jabba re- refers to and let's pull up Jabba so I can actually yep. reference him precisely. So Jabba's crew card, which was released just th- what three weeks ago, just three weeks ago, yeah, three weeks ago. There we go. So it takes two crew slots, five points. When you equip this card, place one illicit token on each uh, illicit upgrade card in your squad. Stop for a second. This is working as intended. Yes. Everyone is getting an illicit token, which is like extra munitions. Yep. yep. Every ship in your squad. Every ship. So there must be reason for that. Yeah, I agree. Okay. I, I agree. Let's keep going. Uh, let's upgrade in your squad. When you are instructed to discard an upgrade to card, you may discard one illicit token on that card instead. The issue here is the U, which now in X-Wing, U normally refers to the ship this card is on. So by rules as written, mm. and as some people are arguing... And this is where I was looking at, when I was discussing it through the, through the this sort of chat that we had, Carl Katana is a very much obvious U. Yes, yes. And in that case, when you remove a ship with Carl Katana on, a stress on, it has to be that you do it. Yes, yeah. Inspiring recruit on another ship... Doesn't do wouldn't it. ...wouldn't trigger it. Yep. Now... 
Jabba the Hutt is, was ruled in this tournament to not affect any other illicit upgrade in this fleet, only the ones on himself, meaning that he was very inefficient, as you say, Voitech. Essentially, you are paying five points. He must have been on YV-666, because that's currently the only non-epic ship. So what you could get from putting Jabba on the YV-666, he is taking two of your crew slots, which, as we have just discussed, are crucial for scum, and you are paying five points to either get two uses for Glitter Steam, that is worth two points, or maybe to a Hotshot Blaster, that's the most expensive illicit you can get. Yeah. So five points and two crew slots for one extra shot with three dice. That's what just, do you do? And the only efficiency is an extra... Yeah, you're mm. spending two slots... Playing two slots to effectively save one point. And this started a huge debate in the X-Men. Actually, no, it's not. In, You're still paying two more points for this it. This started a huge yep. debate in the X-Men community of, well, you should go... Some people were like, you must go by rules as written. It sucks, but you must go by rules as written. Or some saying, nah, you can bend it to rules as intended. And then people saying, well, that's a slippery slope, so, etc. So, from my <clears> perspective, first of all, there is an article uh, which was in the release or like the, the, the reveal yes. of the Jabba the Hutt. Yes. Obviously, we know that FFG articles are sometimes mistaken they are, and they yeah. are not any kind of rules indicator or direction. But in this kind of a case, if you are just looking for additional reasons to, to probably explain why you made this or that decision, you might as well use FFG article when they explain very thoroughly and straight. Yes, Jabba is made this way, so he can give, for example, his Z95 swarms double use of the hotshot blaster. Yeah. And also, why do you have this first sentence here that allows them to take the illicit tokens? I agree. That would be stupid. I agree. Mm -hmm. I mean, I... And, in fact, Owen has asked the question of uh, how would I rule this as an experienced TO? Um, <laughs> uh, quite, quite categorically, if I saw this at the upcoming store championship or any event, I would say to the person, I'd, first, I'd find out what, how this came up as a thing. Like, you know, was it someone else noticed, or was it the opponent who noticed, or something? Or was it a judge that came was around and actually yeah. noticed it in the list and wanted to query it? Regardless, I would say Jabba works as intended, not necessarily as, as written. written. Now, that would probably anger a lot of people in the community from that. However, that is a fair decision. When you're talking about a card that costs five points and two crew slots... I am not going to turn around and say to that person, that list you're now using is now completely worthless. So, from the community point of view, I was quite vigilant by reading pretty much all of the comments. Yes. There was plenty of them. And there I was. would say probably 20, 30, 40 people said, no, Java should work on everything. Obviously, fun and rules as intended in this particular case is more important than rules as written. And probably three or four people who actually said no. The ruling of the mm. TO was I mean, correct. They are not wrong in that you should follow raw. However, in this instance, I think mm. you're clearly. I think it's very clear exactly how Java should work. Mm. And yes, you could follow raw and be exactly the letter. And yes, the TO maybe was inexperienced next thing, or maybe he has them going on. I don't blame the TO. He made his call. That was his call. His decision. But and at the I end would... of the day, his call is final. You can't yeah, ask yeah. for an overall you, on that. Yeah, his call is final. He makes final decisions. Now we can agree or disagree with that. That's our. That's our. Um, what we can do as individuals. But um, I think the TO made the made the wrong call. Mm. But it was it was his call. And I would rule the other way in that Jabba works yes. exactly as. The and there state. is small small other small argument in this in in this entire case. Jabba the Hutt is probably not the meta-breaking card. Mm. He would probably encourage you to take YV-666 and three or four Z95s, or Kirax fighters, maybe. Not exactly. This, is, this yeah. is probably not the list that will win the next Worlds. Yeah. So, another reason to encourage people to use different lists. Well, that's, that's, a, uh, that's an assumption, uh, Owen. I mean, you could say that maybe he was pushed by a competitive player, but we just don't know. We just don't know the facts. Like, maybe it could have been a judge that saw this and thought, I should really look at that, and that's that's wrong. Or maybe the opponent did say that doesn't work as it should, or it can't work. Um, in which case, I'm not going to repeat what he was mm. being, but I think that's a bit, you know, poor show, you know, yeah. personally. For, um, for me, like, like you say, you look at you look at the card. It's a five point, five point card taking up two crew slots. So it can only fit on one ship. So why would you have an effect? That is so minimal for all that outlay. Mm. We come down on raw, raw as in, uh, rules as intended. We would um, like the Jabba to give the use to every ship in his squad, but not yeah, only to himself. Yeah. I agree. I think that's an absolutely fair thing to make. And again, I'm not saying the TO was uh, was misplaced. I think he made the wrong call, but it was his call to make, and 
We he respect did, that. We respect that. I, I'm not going to call him out for that. He did what he could. He, his job is to interpret the rules, and mm. maybe he's not experienced with excellent. Which Some, is, you know, so, sometimes, shame, but... sometimes, you know, you got judges at even bigger events. Like I asked her for a couple of judge calls when I went to Euros, and some of them <laughs> Thanks, were like Owen. so potentially so close to call. Mm. You know, and you've got to make that on the spot decision. Oh, and I might be very competitive, but I like fun the most. And I remember a case from our escal- no, from our hunger bay when I allowed my opponent to change his maneuver dial when he went off the board because that just didn't feel right to just kill the ship just like that. So I was happy with that. Mm-hmm. So this is very similar case. Is rules is written more important than fun? And definitely this is intended to work on all ships. And I think everyone agree with the next FAQ, we're going to have this changed. And actually, this is a very similar case to the initial wording of the reworked Palpatine. Yes. Because initially, the Palpatine, after the rework, was Said only able to modify dice on his very ship. And he changed it in like some kind of like shadow FAQ that he, they didn't mm. even announce it. They just changed it a week later yeah. after some people put it on the forum that the current wording of Faltatine was wrong. Yeah, um, wrong. which if anyone is planning to attend our store championships, we will. I will make sure the TO rule. I'll make this clear. We will rule as intended on Java. There is no dispute on that. Yes, someone may bring it up. Make someone may have a problem with that. But if we consistently rule as intended, then there should be no problem because it's a universal across the tournament. There is no favoritism. Mm. Uh, Good call. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you for joining us. Boy, Thanks very much. Uh, I, it's, I it's, enjoyed it's it a lot. <laughs> I, I, hope, I, I hope I will have a chance to do it again in the future. Awesome. Whenever you will need another co-commentator, I'm more than happy to join. We'll mm. certainly pull you in at some point, and I know that you'll bring, bring back the Voitec Invitational uh, back in, um, what would it, would it be? Uh, August. August, yes. I say. Mm. Well, we'll look forward to having that. Thank you once again for joining us. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thanks, David. It's okay. Don't go anywhere. We've got one more game coming up. And I'm, I'm I'm in the booth for both games this evening, so it's uh, it was nice. I was originally meant to just be in for one, so yeah. I'm in for both both of them now. We didn't tell them that they would start half past. Oh, that's right. Yep, six yes. minutes. Oh, sorry, boys. I thought I'd take your I thought I'd take your seat. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Right, uh, very quickly, uh, Veldrin. Yeah, you uh, can't. According to um, yeah, as Lazy Gomez says, pe- because Jabba says, in fact, I'll pull up the card so that you can actually see this. So because Jabba says very poignantly, when you are instructed to discard an upgrade card, you may discard one as a token on that card instead. Because of that, in X Wing, you refers to the ship the card is on, not you as a person. Yeah, that is a bit of a it's a bit of a fudgy wording, but it's it's how it's, it's consistently been ruled. Exactly, it's like yet again, did the the guy who made the call follow this whole you rule from the whole Carl Gatan issue? You know, if Look, that was following the same kind of you being the ship that it's on, and if that's the case, you start. Yeah, the first yeah, you there, implies the second you. There is a precedent of that set. Mm. Now, this naturally, Jabba will be reworded at some point for the exception. However, I think that until then, we can all agree Jabba is intended to be used as an extra munitions for elicits. That's in his intended design. And to say he can only affect himself when he's only for five points or getting an extra pop of an, of, uh, an elicit. Yeah. Wow, for two crew slots, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not really effective. You know, I do think this needs a little bit of clearing up. It, it does. It, um, it very much does. It's the whole, again, it is the you, you ship, you player, you faction, you list. It's, you know, it's, uh, it's where that first definition of the word you is. And mm. then, you know, all it, all, all, it's, all it should say is when a friendly ship is instructed to discard an upgrade card... That's how you get around that issue. Yeah. But you're running out of text on the card so quickly, they've obviously shorthanded it to make it fit on the card. Yeah, well, this will eventually be cleared up. There's no... Yeah, yeah, definitely. FFG definitely. will indeed rule and say, this is how it is intended to rule. Mm. Um, until then, there is going to be disagreements. If you are intending to run Java at any event you're going to, contact your TO and make sure you ask them, how will you rule Java? As now, as, yeah. a, as I've stated again, Athena Games will be ruling on the sides of intended with the idea that Jabba can indeed allow other ships to discard their illicit tokens in place of their illicit upgrades. Mm. Now, again, we might we might get a flack from the community for making that decision. However, I think it's an adult decision that as long as we apply it consistently across the tournament, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's fine. 
you know, can, applying a rule for one and then applying it differently for another, that's, 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 where, you that's, get that's the where you get the issue. But applying it consistently one way or the other is mm. is what what needs to happen. And I, I, I fall on that side as well. I think that for you know, yeah, a, a unique upgrade that costs five points takes up two crew slots. Yeah. To only get things that are affecting the ship that Jabber is on, mm. which at this point is also restricted to the YV-666, is, you know, if it's the, if this is how it's meant to be written, and it's written as, oh, sorry, it's meant to be played as worded, Jabber should be one crew slot and about two points. Yeah. Now, if this was the case... Now, we might get some flat from people from this, as I've said before. People would probably say, yes, you've got to follow the rules as written, because what's the point in the rules if they aren't followed? And while I agree, even in law, there is interpretation of rules and, you know, circumstances. Mm, mm. And I think this is one of those things where, yes, you could go hardline and rule it as rule, but it's not going to make anyone's day fun no. if they take Java. It's going to ruin their day. They probably won't, won't stop, won't come back to that location. No, they'll probably immediately drop from the tournament and go, well, this, I'll put this in my list now. Yeah. If I'm not getting anything out of it, then what was the point of me turning up in the first place? Especially when you consider that in the end, they broke the rules anyway, because the jump player instantly switched, was allowed to switch over to another list, which again is illegal. So there's, there's, in, I think that it's I very weird. I that second well, point. Yeah, yes, but and that's what I hear. I'm not sure that's true, but that's what I hear. Which case, it kind of makes the whole thing. I suppose. Anyway. I suppose what you could do is is drop from the tournament and go right. Okay, I'll accept a round one loss to rejoin the tournament at round two. Well, I don't know to what play a second list. Well, I don't know what round it was that this all happened mm. in. So that's the unfortunate thing is we we can't say that for sure. Yeah. All I know is Java was ruled this way. I think it was a stupid decision. Even though the TO was is mm. the TO's mm. call. Yeah, I think it was a mistake. I think the community's got all its knickers in a twist about this whole thing. Oh yeah. yeah really to an extent because it re- over an hour there were 150 comments on yeah, this page yeah, yeah. it really exploded and yes FG needs to solve this I'm mm. not disputing that at all they yeah. do on, a, on another point though we're getting close to our second game of the evening yes we are let's get on with that shall we yep so um, let's have a look and see what we have coming out there we have 